once a man came to the ashram of Gautam Buddha and took shelter. After spending two days alone, he said to Buddha, O Buddha, I have some questions in my mind. I have come to know the answers to those questions from you. Lord Buddha said, Tell me what question you have. The man said, I am not happy in my life at all. I am always very sad. There is no happiness in life, no happiness. I want to know why it happens to me. Gautam Buddha said, First you tell me the cause of your sorrow. What are the exact causes of your grief and anxiety? The man thought for a while about Buddha's words and said, What kind of question is this? I am asking you and without answering, are you asking me again? Buddha smiled and said, It's your sorrow. You should know what are the causes of your sorrow. The man said, Buddha, you are a prophet. You know how to read minds. You should know everything. Buddha smiled softly and said, This is your mistake. You think that someone else will make you free from your grief? But it never happens. It's only you who can solve your problem. I am just like you. The only difference is I don't have any confusion. On the day when your inner confusion is over, you do not have to go to any Buddha to solve your problem. Have you ever seen flowers carefully? The man was surprised and said, Who has not seen flowers? Buddha said, The flower opens out as a bud in the morning, blooms during the day, and ends in the evening. If the flower had known that it would end in the evening, the flower would not have blossomed itself. Just like if you always think of sorrow, you will never be happy. There are still many things in your life that can make you live happily ever after. You can smile and you can enjoy life to the fullest. You will not find happiness in life unless you follow this path. I can show you the way. I can tell you the path. But you have to do it. Only then you will be happy in life. Hearing this, the person became silent for a while. After thinking for a while, he said, But Buddha, I do not understand one thing. Is it possible to solve all the problems in my life at once? Buddha slowly began to say, If someone comes to you and says that you will die in the next 10 minutes, you will not remember any more problem like that. Because at that moment, you will only think about the absolute truth of life, which is death. You will feel like, what is the use of thinking over the problems? I will leave after 10 minutes. We never think that this life is fleeting. Our desires become so strong that we accept our life as immortal. 
happiness and sorrow in life are not permanent the cause of this happiness and sorrow is our karma and our thoughts the man who was listening intently to buddha he said then should i always think i am going to die will that solve the problems buddha said no never think so just think my existence in this world is uncertain and as long as i am or will be i will live happily think very carefully you still have many things that make you happy and glad live with them fix the mind and see there is no confusion in your mind all the sorrows and pains of life are caused by desire control the mind if you can make the mind as simple as a child you will get eternal happiness the man asked o oh buddha how can i control the mind gautam buddha said we need to know the difference between happiness and sorrow i have to understand what is happiness to me and what is sorrow the mind has to be controlled in such a way that it should neither be happy even in extreme happiness nor be sad even in extreme sorrow we must be steadfast in the middle position if you analyze in real life what are my sorrows or what are the causes of that sorrows in the end the conclusion is the cause of all sorrows is ourselves and the mind manages ourselves so if you can control the mind the sorrow will end gautam buddha then said to that person if you can do another small thing you will see that the sorrow in your life is gone forever the man said with great enthusiasm tell me buddha what should i do buddha said you will not talk to anyone for the next two days you will write down on a piece of paper in the solitary place of the ashram thinking about your sorrows and the reasons for it and write on another paper what happiness you still have and what are the reasons for it don't rush you will get a lot of time go and think think perfectly the man bowed to buddha and went to the secluded corner of the ashram Two days later he came back to Buddha with a lot of papers Buddha said First let me listen to the table of contents of your sorrow The man began to read Number 1 All the brothers in my family are rich but I am poor and indebted because I am afraid to act I raised more than act and I always compare myself with others. Number 2 My neighbors have saved a lot of money but I couldn't. The reasons are first I have done less work and earned less money but spent a lot of money in bad company even though I did not save a single penny. Number 3 My wife has been ill for a long time. It is me who is responsible for this. Due to my negligence, I did not take her to any doctor and just left it to luck. And the truth is, there is a secret desire in my mind. If this wife dies of an illness, I will remarry a beautiful woman. Number 4 
I imagine illusionary happiness all day long and I worry and grieve as they are not fulfilled for want of money and I drink alcohol every day to forget my sorrow and again I am the only one responsible for this I know I can't afford it but I want to own it all even if I don't have them I can have a wonderful day and I make excuses for drinking and intoxication O Buddha these are my four sorrows and at the root of all sorrows are my actions and thoughts this time gautam buddha smiled and said well now tell me the list of your happiness this time the person said very enthusiastically that i am happy and i have so much joy inside i just realized for the first time in my life in the last two days my list of causes of happiness is so big that it will take a couple of hours to finish reading buddha smiled and said not only for you but for all of us the cases are the same only we waste precious time of life by thinking about the causes of sorrow in fact our life is a storehouse of happiness peace and joy well you did not read the whole list just read a few the man began to read with great joy the first joy is that i am now living in this world I am healthy and strong. I have parents, a wife and children. Like those lucky ones in the world, I have the most precious wealth, like the affections of my parents, the love of my beautiful wife, the tenderness of my child, and my happiness of being a father. I can work. I am fit and healthy. I can improve my income by doing any work. I can happily meet the needs of all the family members. I am happy because I can build a happy family as much as I can without comparing myself with any of my neighbors and brothers. with the humanity that has been born in me by your grace i can leave my bad habits and live in eternal peace and the greatest joy and good fortune are that i have found a place at the feet of lord gautam buddha by your grace As long as I am temporarily on this earth I'll know the truth of life know myself with a fixed mind and keep myself and others in eternal bliss Buddha said go back to your family this time you are reborn today live a life of eternal peace with a stable mind if there is a slight confusion in your mind about life say to yourself life is too short and i am not here to be a slave of sorrow analyze and find out the cause of sorrow and destroy it immediately only then you will find eternal happiness if a lasting joy friends comment on your happiness and the reason behind it if you like our videos subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos with your beloved ones thanks